owning property in the Philippines mm -hmm. if you are a, a I guess dual citizen Phil mm -hmm. Am mm -hmm. uh, Filipino and US citizen because a lot of Filipinos think that once they become a US citizen they're born in the Philippines mm -hmm. they're Filipino and then they naturalize mm -hmm. uh, that they can no longer own land can Phil Ams do own property in the Philippines okay basic rule about owning property in the Philippines is that you can only buy lands if you are a Filipino citizen okay okay but if you already own that land even before coming here even if you become an American citizen you don't lose it just by okay. becoming an American citizen now can the children inherit that property assuming the the Filipino American dies here in the US okay okay and let's say the the children are U.S. citizens. And the children are U.S. citizens. Okay. If a child is a U.S. citizen already, that land can pass can be passed on to the children, even if they're U.S. citizens by way of interstate succession. Mm -hmm. There's no will. Mm -hmm. There's no will. So in other words, the land passes to the children, even if they're U.S. citizens, automatically by operation of law. Mm -hmm. It is different if the Filipino-American executes a will, a last will and testament, wherein he will now state that I, the property in Lucena City, for example, will go to my son who is in the Philippines. That is not allowed because that's circumventing the law to a U.S. citizen mm -hmm. child, right? Okay. Yeah, because the U.S. citizen child by himself cannot purchase or buy properties in the Philippines because he is a U.S. citizen. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, it's it's kind of weird for me. Yeah, I'm yeah. just telling you that. <laughs> Ordinarily, we as attorneys we we tell people get a will because mm. if if you do not have a will. Um, you can't direct who right. the property goes to, but yeah, you're yeah. Uh, basically saying they ha they should die intestate without a will, so that the kid could get it. But then it could go to a spouse or somebody for too. properties for properties. But what about people who maybe want to retire and get a condo, uh, a, a non-Filipino? Well, they can buy condos anytime because okay. we're not talking about lands here. The rule that I said earlier about being a Filipino citizen applies only when you want to buy lands in the Philippines. Okay. But buying condos, it's open to anyone, even foreigners. Okay, even so if I want to retire mm -hmm. uh, to the Philippines, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm American, I was born in the U.S., mm -hmm. uh, I could buy a condo over Anytime. There. Okay. Yeah, there's no restriction. So now we move on to, I guess, a similar type of subject, mm. uh, dual citizenship. Okay. Uh, in the U.S., so you know out there, uh, of course, we're immigration, U.S. immigration show, dual citizenship is recognized, is allowed. So my question is, does the Philippines recognize dual citizenship? Yes, we do. Okay. We do. So now, moving back to my story, right. if you have a Filipino mm. who naturalizes but considers himself a dual citizen, mm. now can they uh, buy yes. property? Yes, yes. Okay. Once somebody becomes a dual citizen, okay, that person can now buy properties in the Philippines. Okay. Right. But if they were a Philippine citizen to begin with, then they become the, a U.S. citizen. They're still a dual citizen, right? No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, we have to distinguish here. Okay, go ahead. Okay. If somebody comes here as a Filipino citizen and acquires U.S. citizenship, okay. okay, the moment he acquires U.S. citizenship, the only way by which he can retain his Philippine citizenship is to apply for dual citizenship with us. Okay. Okay. He cannot automatically retain his being a Filipino citizen. There has to be a positive act, and that consists of having to apply with us for dual citizenship. So if a person gets naturalized as a U.S. citizen today, for example, that person, if he wants to retain his Philippine citizenship, has to go to the Philippine consulate tomorrow okay. so that he can retain his Philippine citizenship. Yeah. Are there any requirements other than showing that you were a Philippine citizen? I, I yeah, yeah. Show two basic ahead. requirements. Okay, sure. One is the Philippine birth certificate, of course, issued by the Philippine Statistics Authority, and your naturalization certificate. Those two basic documents. And then, then that's it. And Very then easy. they're issued uh, a Philippine passport. Then they apply. Okay, no, it's not automatic. Too. Okay, yeah. yeah. Once they become a dual citizen, they decide to get a Philippine passport. They have to apply. Which is another complication. What? Back it. The complication comes when the applicant um, cannot produce a copy of his Philippine birth certificate. Uh, and this uh, is very common among Filipinos who were born uh, in the 1930s. Okay. Because they don't have record anymore at the Philippine 
statistics office. They are they they get a record wherein it says that there's no record of birth for this person. Yeah. And if they cannot produce or the that, Japanese bombed or, exactly. or the termites. Yeah. And if if they, what they're renewing as a Philipp okay. if what they're holding as a Philippine passport is a green passport, uh, meaning the old passport, mm -hmm. then we really insist that they submit a Philippine birth certificate. Okay. But if they're renewing an e-passport, which is the new passport, then we don't require it anymore. Okay, because I found that interesting because about not having a, a birth certificate because to get yourself all the way to U.S. citizenship, right, right. they've been showing USCIS a lot of the documents. Mm. But uh, you are certainly providing a lot of useful mm -hmm. information to mm -hmm. our viewers. Mm -hmm. And we have, of course, more questions and the Honorable Edgar Badajos will provide more answers when we come back on Citizen Pinoy.